My friend, I'm going to go over something that's on almost any thermodynamic exam that deals with Gibbs for energy, and we're going to calculate the reaction Gibbs for energy or the standard change in Gibbs for energy for a chemical reaction, and we're going to do that using thermodynamic thermodynamic data using two different methods here and I'll show you how they are and it's going to be awesome. Already for this first one we'll calculate the Gibbs free energy change of the reaction from enthalpy and entropy changes and to do that we need to use the Gibbs free energy equation so the change in standard Gibbs free energy is equal to the change in the standard enthalpy. Standard just means it's under standard state one bar uh, minus temperature times the change in entropy, standard change in entropy, and this is of the reaction. So our table does not give us data for a reaction. This is the change in enthalpy of formation for each substance in the equation, and the molar entropy for each substance. So we need to calculate it. So it's a little long, but the profs do test you on this, so I will go through it. Uh, the change in enthalpy of the reaction is equal to the sum of the products minus the reactants. So the change in the enthalpy of formation of the products minus the reactants. This V is the stoichiometric coefficients here. So we'll we'll plug it in. So we have two, so we'll do CO2, so two, and then the enthalpy of formation of CO2 is just look it up, CO2 gas, and make sure it's a gas, negative 393.5, so negative negative. Uh, where's my pen? There we go. Negative 393.5 kilojoules per mole plus 2. Now, it's important that this is li or gaseous water. We don't want to include liquid water. H2O gas. Oh, H2O. What am I? There we go. Uh, there it is. Okay, so negative 241.8. So negative 241.8 kilojoules per mole. Then minus, yeah, some of the products, this is products minus reactants, so it's like here, and then V is delta H F naught. This is of the, this one here is of the products. This one here is of the reactants. Okay, so products minus reactants. And I like to do a big bracket after this so that we don't miss any negative signs. We only have one. We don't have to include the one, but that's all right. Uh, enthalpy of formation of C2H4 ethene. C2H4, C2H4, and make sure it's a gas. Okay, C24H gas. Okay, good. So ethene, it's 52.26. Is that right? 52, yep, 52. 52.26 kilojoules per mole plus, now oxygen, it's going to be zero. It would be three times whatever it is, uh, but it is zero because elements in their standard state are zero, the enthalpy of formation. Uh, we, could, we could look it up just to show you. O2 gas, not that one, not that one. There it is. So it's zero, same as the molar entropy of, of elements in their reference state, zero as well. So, so that's cool. Okay, so we'll plug that in to our calculator. Two times negative 393.5 plus 2 times negative 241.8, minus 5, 2.26, 2.26, and I think that's all good. Okay, so negative 1322.86, so negative 1322.86, this is in kilojoules per mole. Now we'll do the entropy. So, well, uh, you know what, I'll do it in red. The standard enthalpy or entropy of formation or just entropy reaction entropy there we go is the same as this i'll write it out just so you see it but it's the sum of the molar entropies of the products minus the sum of the molar entropies of the reactants you see that that's these are supposed to be funny looking bees okay there we go so we'll do the same thing as we did before products minus reactants, so 2. Now the molar entropy of CO2, what is that? We'll look it up. So CO2 gas, 213.74. 213.74. Now the units are different. we got to make sure we have the right units. I know what they are, but joules per mole Kelvin, but you'd want to kind of look on the table and make sure that's what it is. Plus the molar 
a, a molar entropy of formation of H2O gas. So two is the two there. And then H2O is H2O gas. And make sure it's the gas because it'll be a different number than the liquid. Here's our units, joules per Kelvin mole. So that's good. 188.825. 188.825. Joules per mole Kelvin minus big bracket here. Now there's one which we don't really need, but I'll put it there anyways. The molar entropy of formation of C2H4, C2H4 ethene is 219.56. So 219.56 joules per mole Kelvin plus. Now it's not zero. The molar entropies for Pure elements are not zero. Uh, we'll just double check that. I think it's 205 for oxygen, if I remember. Let's see. Yeah, so it's 205.138. Okay, 205, 205.138 joules per mole Kelvin. Close our brackets. And yeah, we'll calculate that. Plug it out. Okay, two times 213.74 plus two times 188.825 minus big bracket so we don't miss a negative sign. 219.56 plus three times. I love these calculators where you can see what you can type. You can see if I made an error or where, where the calculation error was if it happened. Okay, so negative 29.844. Negative. 29.844. So before we proceed, this is negative, right? This this change in enthalpy. So this means it's exothermic. This is occurring under constant pressure and temperature. This is ex exothermic. And if this is negative, that means we have a decrease in, in order. Or a, yeah, decrease in, or sorry, increase in order. A decrease in entropy. So we have less disorder, uh, less orderly arrangements. So less microstates available. And uh, it's hard to see that here. It looks like it's the same because we're going from four, for every four moles of gas that react, we get four moles of gas. So in terms of how many molecules there are, it's like a one-to-one -one ratio. But uh, based on the molar entropies, it's actually uh, decreasing. Oh, I forgot the units. Joules, oh, I should put in red. Joules per mole Kelvin. Okay, so now that we got our reaction enthalpies, Enthalpy and reaction entropy, we can plug it into this equation here and we're done. So the change in the Gibbs energy is equal to delta H naught. It's good to just write it out again. Good housekeeping for your prof. They'll be happy when they see it. It'll, it'll be easy for them to read. Eight, six. Okay, now before we proceed, this is in kilojoules and this is in joules. So what we should do is go to the same unit. Now this is usually this is in kilojoules. Do we want a certain? Oh, it doesn't care what what unit is what unit it's in. So I'm going to convert it to. I'm going to keep it in kilojoules because usually the reaction Gibbs energy is in is in kilojoules. So I'll keep this one in kilojoules. I uh, don't need the brackets, but that's okay. 290. No, it's not 298 Kelvin. It's 200 degrees Celsius. 200, but temperature has to be in Kelvin. So we'll add 273.15 to make it in Kelvin, right? And our change in entropy. Now, this is in joules. We want it in kilojoules. So I'm going to turn this into kilojoules by dividing it by 1,000. Negative 29.844 times 10 to the negative 3 kilojoules per mole Kelvin. Okay, and this is a Kelvin here. So this, this Kelvin cancels out with this Kelvin. So we're in kilojoules per mole. And life is good. Negative 1322.86 minus, now this is just 473.15. So I'll just write that in 473.15 times negative 29.844 times 10 to the power of negative 3. And that all looks good, I think. So good. Okay, so negative. That's almost the same, right? The entropy doesn't change too much. Negative 1308.7. Negative 1308.7. 
kilojoules per mole. And significant figures, we got to go to the top. We have one decimal place of significance. Uh, and then here we have one, two, three, four, four sig figs. If this is three, or actually three sig figs, it would be, although this doesn't contribute much. So yeah, so one, one, one place value. I hope that makes sense. This is, this is significant to one decimal place because when we're adding, uh, we only have precision to one decimal place. And then this one's not, this is so small that we, even though we have three sig figs here, uh, the three sig figs will be like, like one, two, and three, or it'd be like a, a higher precision. So this is the least precise uh, place value right here. So it would be, yeah, negative 1308.9 kilojoules per mole. So it's spontaneous. This is a spontaneous reaction. This is the combustion of ethene. Yeah, so that's cool. Okay, now let's calculate the reaction Gibbs energy the other way. So we'll use it, and this is shorter, <laughs> thankfully, uh, from thermodynamic data of Gibbs energy of formation. To do that, we're going to use this equation that we've seen with the reaction enthalpy and entropy that we've seen before. So the sum of the Gibbs energies of formation of the products minus the sum of the Gibbs energy of formation of the reactants so products minus reactants and yeah life is life will be good again so co2 so we'll start with that sum up the products start with the two there now the gibbs energy of formation of co2 is uh negative 394.353 negative 394.3 was it 393 353 three, five, oh, 359 359 kilojoules per mole plus that of water so two times and the gibbs energy of formation of water so h2o gas make sure it's a gas negative 228.572 228 negative 228.572 kilojoules per mole and minus big bracket here although we won't really need the bracket but it's Good practice to put this in so we don't lose a negative sign in one of the terms. Uh, C2H4, what's C2H4? C2H4 gas, C2H, uh, oh, not this one, but it's this one here. So it's 68.15, 68.15 kilojoules per mole. And then this is going to be zero plus zero. We'll, we'll look at it uh, to confirm, anyways, but O2. Gas, not that one, not that one. There we go. It's going to be zero. It's just non-zero for the molar entropies. Okay, so that's cool. And hopefully we get the same number as in part A, is in the first part of this question. So they should be relatively close. It should be close to this number here. So two times negative 394.359. That was kind of messy. Is this a nine? Oh, that's so messy. Or is that a one? I better I better double check. What was it? CO2? CO2. I don't want to mistakenly it it was a nine. Three nine four. Okay, so I was right the first time, but there we go. Three nine four. Okay. Plus two times negative two two eight point five seven two minus sixty eight point one five. Very close, very close. Okay, we're good to the previous answer. Negative 1382.2. Negative 1380. Actually, we have two decimal places of precision here. 1382.16. 1382 1382.16 kilojoules per mole. It's negative, it's spontaneous in the forward direction, and it coincides with the data. From this one very very close so that's awesome life is good all right y'all i hope you got some value from this video good luck on your midterms and final exams and quizzes and assignments and all that stuff uh, let me know if you have any other problems you want me to work out on videos and i've got many 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 videos on thermodynamics and other aspects of chemistry and science uh, thanks again for watching uh, good luck y'all see ya